So as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a haul for you today because I just got back from London and I picked up a few things while I was over there, maybe a few too many. So I thought I would show you what I bought and hopefully if you guys like these things, you can go pick them up as well because most of them I feel like are maybe things that you can buy here. Maybe not. Ooh, if you live in the UK, like it's ideal, you can go buy them. But if you live in the US, um, sorry. So let's get into it. I'm going to save the best for last because that is the first thing I purchased and it's also my favorite thing that I purchased so I'm gonna make you guys wait till the end of the video for that. Do not skip ahead. So let's start out with the probably the second or third thing that I bought when I was over there which is the new range from Zoella Beauty. Um, insane that I was in London when this line came out because I could honestly just walk into a super junk store and buy it instead of ordering online which is amazing. So I picked up the Scrubbing Me Softly body scrub, which I haven't tried yet, but um, it smells incredible. So that's something that I'm looking forward to putting on my body. And then I also picked up the Zoella Kissy Missy Lip Balm, which I have on right now. It smells incredible, like the body scrub, and it also is like super moisturizing. My lips feel incredible and the color is really cool. I think my favorite thing about this is the fact that you can kind of build it up so you can put like a really sheer layer of pink or you can build it up and make it almost look like a lipstick instead which is super fun and super cool and I really like this. Can I have 10 more? Cool thanks. And then I also may have gotten a little overexcited and I got the Fresh Fizz Fragrance Bath Fizzer. Um, I don't have a bath so Anybody who has a bath and wants this, um, you can have it. The next thing that I picked up was from Scribbler, which is a stationery store. Um, I got a card from my dad for his birthday. And I also picked up this little notebook that says blah blah blah. And this could not be more perfect for me because I feel like I accumulate a lot of notebooks and I write down random things in all of them just because I like writing. But this one is kind of just for random thoughts, random ideas. I guess I've written down a few things so far. Mostly wishes that I want to come true, so I won't read them aloud. Cool. I also picked up this City Guide of London by Serial, and not only is it just like a beautiful little book, it helped me find some really hidden gems around the city, so I was super happy about that. One of my favorite places in London is Shoreditch, and they have this box park, which is full of these kind of little like pop-up shops and food and places you can sit, which is really, really cool. And I decided to pick up this little frame. It's like an antique gold, and then I put a little orchid in there because I had kind of left all my flowers to die while I was on vacation and didn't have anybody take care of them for me. So I came back and this orchid was just on my countertop and looked really sad. So I pressed it in between a book and then I put it in here. And then I broke the frame. So uh, now I need super glue. But it's still adorable and I love it. I'm gonna put it next to my bed. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably know that I have an obsession with The Breakfast Club because it is the most incredible breakfast I have ever had. Like I would honestly fly across the country just to get that, but I uh, can't. So well, why do we have one in New York? Answer me that. So originally I wanted the mug that had the little smiley face on it and I was like, ooh, I'll have this with my coffee in the morning, great. But they only had this one left, which just says The Breakfast Club, and then it also says sex, drugs, and bacon rolls. Um, I don't eat bacon, but I liked it, so cool. On my last day in London, I decided I was having a bit of withdrawal, and so I decided to do some retail therapy. Probably not the best thing in the world. And I picked up these Nike trainers. They are leather and black, and they're I think they're Air Maxes. Somebody who's a sneakerhead can probably tell me that. They're just really, really sleek, really pretty. I wore them to the airport so that they wouldn't get dirty, but now I'm back in New York City, so they are inevitably gonna get dirty. So I can't do anything about that, but they are beautiful and I love them. So of course the summer sales were on when I went to London, like classic, of course they would be. And I picked up this green top from Topshop. It was on the sale rack, so I think it was about 18 pounds, and then with the student discount it was even less, so I was like, yep, taking that. I love the color green, and it kind of brings out my eyes even more than it usually would. Yeah, cool. And now I see why it was on sale, because there are a bunch of little poles in it. So the last and absolute favorite purchase that I made is this Topshop leather jacket. I have been looking for a leather jacket for ages. I went into All Saints, I went into Zara, and like nothing seemed to really fit well or the way that I wanted it to. So then I went into Topshop uh, because I was going there anyway. It was 160 pounds, and then it said on the tag that it would have been $350. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I do want a leather jacket, but not that much. So then I tried it on. I tried it on a size four and a size six. And the four just like was perfectly fitted, but I didn't want to like be able to zip it up and have it be like tight to me. I wanted it to zip up and like have the space still. So I picked up the six because it was just a little bit more open. And then once I fell in love with it in the dressing room, I went up to the till and decided that I was gonna buy it. And then she asked me if I wanted to pay it in dollars or pounds. And I was like, oof, how much would it be in dollars? And she said something like 217. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait. 
So basically, if I had bought this in the US, it would have been $350, but because I bought it in the UK and had a student discount, I got it for like 200 something. What? So that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as always. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on all my social media links, which will also be down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!